Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to properly use caulking around a window and show you a few tips on how to do it a lot easier and more efficiently. The reason why we would want to use an acoustical sealant around a window for soundproofing is because the main difference between just regular caulking and acoustical caulking, which is usually called acoustical sealant, is that the acoustical caulking will not crack over time. It will stay rubbery. Imagine the type of caulking that's in your washroom. It's something like that. It's not the same type of caulking, but it's something that stays rubbery over time and will not crack like regular caulking. Regular caulking, it dries up and it cracks over time because a house will shift. And also, as you open and close windows, it will cause a vibration and depending on what type of person you are, if you're the type of person that just like opens the window and says, you come back in here, boy, and you close the window like that, or if you're even more angry and you slam the window shut, it will cause a vibration around the window and window frame and it will begin to crack. And of course, if it cracks, it leaves an air void and noise will eventually easily go through. So this is, if you're looking for ways to soundproof your window, well, if you're looking for different ways to soundproof your windows other than just caulking, video right up here in whatever corner, that will show you different ways on how to soundproof a window. But just a cheap fix on not only making the area around your window look better if the caulking is all, is all cracked up, it will also do a good job at soundproofing. I mean, it's not, it's not a miracle soundproofing product, but with windows, you have a lot less to work with. It's not like a, it's not like a wall where you can just put an extra layer of drywall or put mass loaded vinyl and hope for better soundproofing. It, it, a window is a window. If you can't afford to replace the window itself with something thicker with more layers, then Acoustical caulking will make a difference in noise transfer between inside and outside. All right, so now I already have my sealant inside my caulking gun and you see the screw right here. Usually after I finish using any type of caulking, I just fill in the hole, I plug the hole with a screw. It's an easy way to do it and at least it keeps the caulking inside the tube, inside this spout, so it doesn't dry up, it doesn't dry the tip up. If you're wondering how to, if you, if you don't know how to open the caulking tube or place it in the caulking gun, video right up here will explain all of that to you. But before we begin, I'd like to thank this video sponsors, which are Trademark Soundproofing, and I'll have a link in the description below of acoustical sealant that they sell with a 5% discount code. Just use discount code soundproofguide, all one word. And so now, the first thing that you wanna do before you begin is you want to, the only thing that you need to use is water with a couple of drops of dish soap and at least that way it won't get too foamy and it'll get the job done. I'll also use this little mixture for a finishing touch. So that's a little trick that you can use. So the areas that you wanna clean is the areas that you wanna put the sealant on and this, I'll just. And one thing that you really want to make sure is that after you finish cleaning it, it's that it's completely dry because if you put the sealant over a wet surface, it will not adhere as well. Also, if you're putting white sealant in an area where there's a lot of dust, then of course you'll get your sealant dirty at the end when you pass your finger over top of it and it just won't look very good. So just a little tip, make sure to wash because it's something that's easily forgotten. So here I've uh, basically cleaned around where I'll be putting the sealant, around the window frame, and also around the window casing. That is the two areas that I'll be placing the sealant. Now you can also place sealant right here. I see there's a crack, 
and that is another good spot to put the ceiling. So basically everywhere that you see that there could be a crack forming or there's already a crack, that's where you want your sealant to be applied because anywhere that you see a crack, like here, and there's a little bit of a crack on the, on the window casing itself. Now that, it's not a huge crack, but the thing is, it's still an air void and if it's not properly installed over the drywall then you might have a little bit of an air gap going to the outside which will let noise in but the real problem area the the real important area is around the window itself that is where you can stop most of the noise around the casing you're just making it look better because you're getting rid of that crack that's already there. But again, if, it's not, if everything is not installed perfectly, that crack will let a little bit of noise through. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. And also feel free to leave a comment. I would love to hear your feedback and also your questions that I would do my very best to answer. Thank you. So as you can see right here, you see a crack has already formed. So you just pass your caulking just lightly. You just pull lightly on the trigger. If you miss any, if you have any gaps, it's fine because you will have them filled when you do your finishing touches. A lot of the time, if you're not used to doing caulking, you'll have a little bit too much in, but that is okay because just have a rag with you and just like so. So as you can see, just going fast, you're gonna have enough sealant. You don't have to really pull the trigger more than just a little bit to get some sealant in those areas. And the last finishing touch that you will want to do is you'll want to go get your water with a couple of drops of dish soap in it. Just spray a little bit on your fingers and just use your finger to drag the sealant down and with the dish soap and water you'll find that it does an excellent job with that finishing touch. It's not that much just enough that if you didn't put enough or you had gaps, then you're going to fill those gaps with the access that you have at other spots. So that's what it should look like in the end. It should just look perfect. And that type of sealant is basically guaranteed to stay just as is for at least five years. So that's the standard with acoustical sealant, five years. But if they say five years, usually it'll go a lot longer than that, which they usually do. So there you have it. It's not terribly complicated to use acoustical sealant around a window for soundproofing, but sometimes just to see it actually happen makes a big difference. Just to recap, around the window is the most important and then if you see any gaps around the first bit of the frame and the frame itself where it meets the wall then just use a sealant to seal those areas also it's, it's a job that can be done in less than 10 minutes really and uh, it looks a lot better after it's done no more cracks and hopefully a lot less sound coming through. As I said, it's not going to, it's not a miracle soundproofing product, but it will help because windows, as I said, not much you can do with it in terms of soundproofing other than really plugging it up, which I do have a video coming up in a few weeks from now where I actually build a window plug DIY, really not that difficult. If you're the type of person that is working let's say shift work and really want to plug the wall not the wall the window to basically make it a wall you can do that it's not that complicated it's not that expensive 
and it's not yeah it's not that hard and make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified on that video that should be coming up in a, in a few weeks hopefully you enjoyed this video leave a comment ask questions because i'm now doing a few videos where i actually answer some of your questions the most popular questions that i keep seeing and just to basically help everybody with instead of just writing my answer in the comment might as well do a couple of videos on those frequently asked questions on soundproofing so if you have any leave a comment and it also helps with the google youtube algorithm on pushing our content it helps so thank you all the links below on the products that i've used in this video and i've also added links on other soundproofing products that you can use around your home thank you very much for watching until next time feel free to take a look at many of our other youtube videos and also some of our articles on our website soundproofguide.com don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content